Well, hey there, folks. I'm meteorologist Matt Barentine. Of course, all eyes are on the tropics, and we finally have a system to begin focusing on. So we had the system beginning to develop. We've been talking about this for days. I think I first mentioned this on Tuesday morning of last week, and we didn't have anything for a while. But now we finally have the system beginning to develop. And now once this thing gets going, it's going to seem to happen fairly quickly. And now we've been talking about it for days. We didn't have anything here, but we knew something would happen. And now we're starting to see, uh, you know, getting more information now as we actually have a system to begin to focus on. Now it doesn't have a number or name yet. Likely will probably later today is my guess that we'll see, we'll get it to become a depression and then eventually either a Helene or Isaac. There's another system in the Atlantic that could pop first. We'll have to wait and see. So it'll either become a Helene or Isaac, but we do expect it to become a named storm. It's going to track up to the west coast of Florida, the Big Bend region or the panhandle of Florida. So there's still going to be some question marks about the exact landfall, but we do believe it's going to be somewhere in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico and that'll happen on Thursday. So Thursday, probably late afternoon or Thursday evening. That's what it'll make landfall and most likely to be just off to the east of our area. I say most likely. It, obviously, we're still there's still going to be time for this to make more of a, a westward jog. We'll have to keep an eye on all that. Uh, but we all know here on the Gulf Coast, if you're going to be on a side of a, of a storm, you want to be on the west side. That's going to be the most likely side that we're going to be on. And the heaviest impacts will be on the east side of the system as it makes landfall here later on this week. Let's go ahead and get the uh, GFS here. I'm going to be showing different models here throughout the morning. So if you just stay tuned to Fox 10, you'll get to see a couple of different ones here. Wednesday morning entering the Gulf now really starting to crank up and it's going to gain strength very rapidly here over the southern Gulf. We do anticipate that it will grow into a hurricane, but there is some fortunate uh, conditions up here in the northern part of the Gulf where there's some wind shear that will hopefully start to tear it apart a bit, but this is still likely to be a hurricane as it makes landfall and likely a pretty strong hurricane as well. At least a category two is what I'm thinking, uh, but maybe even higher than that. And once again, making landfall most likely in the northeastern Gulf, but don't get too focused on what this one model is saying. OK, there's still going to be time for this thing to jog around. And, uh, you know, that is not 100 percent certain there. So just something to keep in mind. Here's that wind shear very high over the northeastern Gulf. Here's the system and it's going to run smack into that. Now, a strong enough system can kind of push the shear out of the way. But it will be impacted here by wind shear that will be knocking the clouds here off the top of it over to the east. So that will help. It's just a matter of timing. Will it help enough? And we'll have to just kind of wait and see on that satellite radar. It's all quiet here locally. So today's quiet. We're in the 70s this morning. It is mild and muggy here to start the day. It's going to be a hot day, but it's going to be a quiet day for us here across the Gulf Coast. Quiet morning, lots of sunshine, temperatures in the 70s, then eventually into the 80s. And then in the afternoon, it is going to be warm and toasty. We're talking lower 90s out there. So a hot day for us here across the Gulf Coast but a day that we can start to get ourselves ready and start to think about what would happen if it did make more of a westward jog. And certainly if you're in the eastern parts of our viewing area, say Okaloosa County, uh, Santa Rosa County and the Panhandle, you are going to be even closer to whatever eventually happens with this system. So something to keep in mind here as we go through the upcoming week. Mainly the impacts will be felt on Wednesday and Thursday. By the time we get to Friday, things will be clearing on up one way or the other, and we're looking at a nice weekend coming up.